Susie's going to tell us about her curtains and the screens, and she'll talk over the cicadas. Go! And take three. Yes. Okay. I, first of all, 36 inch board. I cut it 36 inches. This is a one by, but it's really three fourths of an inch, so you want to screw it into the wall with a half inch, um, into the wall half inch. So your screw will be one and one fourth inches if you use a one by. 36 inches long. I just screwed it into the wall and then I stapled the Velcro. We'll talk about that in a minute. This is what the curtain finished product looks like. It has the Velcro on the back, red fabric uh, to match the camper. Um, I cut it wrong. I ran out of the white so I had to turn it over but don't worry about that. It won't be a problem. So let me tell you how to make it. For you guys who sew, you won't need these instructions, but if you don't know how to sew, cut your fabric 36 by 24, no, 37 by 25. Then I got this fabric at Walmart. It's like plasticky and it's soft on the inside. It uh, helps with the room darkening. You want to put your right side up and on the red, right side down on the white. Make sure they match up. 36 by 37 by 25 and just sew around three sides. Turn it wrong side out and sew up the end. So you just have one piece of fabric, two sides. Also from Walmart you get this um, Velcro. It's exactly 36 inches so it's perfect. You want to take the soft side and sew the soft side right on here you want to um, sew on the top and along the bottom right close to the edge don't just sew one down the middle that won't work very well the reason you want the soft side and not the bumpy side is because um, it'll grab hold of your other clothes in the washing machine you don't want that when you put the bumpy side on the um, wood you would go all the way around to the edge you want to staple it with a staple gun uh, about every three or four inches and that's what you have for the curtain <laughs> okay um, this is how you put the curtains up it's nighttime and you don't have to fool with um, a curtain rod which is in the way and the curtains sticking out they're really close to the wall so all you do is just stick them up here really close to the velcro and you can do that with all of them and you can still see sunlight through here but at night, when it's dark and you have a light that's not as bright as the sun, obviously, you can't even tell that the light is on in here. So you have your privacy. Stick it behind the couch there. There you go. You can still, vaguely, you can see the sunlight, but it's dark at night and it's private. And then if you want to peek out... Oh, I want to look out. Oops, I didn't put it... <laughs> If you put, press it down harder, press yeah. it down harder, like I did one night. We were in a storm, and I just wanted to see. That's it. Alrighty, tell us about the screens real quickly. Okay, the screens are hard and easy. I went to um, Lowe's and we got the screens that just went straight down. And this tension rod is supposed to be at the top, but I put the tension rod at the bottom to be a weight to hold it down and to hold it close. You don't want it to be like this you want it to be hanged down almost touching the floor but not quite I had these um, little curtain, curtain rods. rods I got from Walmart again and the um, attachments for them the hardware for them and I just stuck it up there now it's not the way the roof is it's not exactly perfect so it's a little on a slant so at the bottom I had to hem it on a slant so you might take that into consideration. You'll have to cut it the length you want and the width you want, and then you can just put it into the hardware up here where it, that it fits. But um, the hemming is a little tricky. You'll have to figure that out. The easiest way to put them up is to sit here. And we found they did a good job. And. Um, it's a, it's a little away from the door because it's on a slant. If it was level, it would be straight down. Or you can get a little something behind there and pull it up close. And it holds it to it. Voila. And when your mattress is down, your mattress will hold it. You That's right. 
your head here and sleep this way and have a nice cross breeze. Alrighty, we're done.